Ever thought about a TV series that combines adventure, mystery, and sci-fi all at once? One from 1977 really stood out. As you delve into this video, prepare for an emotional roller coaster. There are funny bits that'll make you laugh, surprising turns that'll keep you hooked, and touching moments that might tug at your heartstrings. Keep watching to discover all the interesting details about this beloved classic. Now, thinking back, which classic Hollywood actor was your favorite? Was it the charm of Roddy McDowell or the mystery of Jared Martin? Let us know below. Also, is there a particular scene or moment that stuck with you? Maybe a daring escape or a deep realization? Share your thoughts and experiences with us. We're excited to hear your stories and reflections as they add depth to our understanding of this timeless series. So, relax and get ready for an adventure as you immerse yourself in this unforgettable journey. Let the excitement begin. Embarking on a journey into the unknown is like diving into a world of endless possibilities. Back in 1977, a TV show did just that. It whisked viewers away on an unforgettable adventure where the line between reality and fantasy blurred. Set in a time when curiosity reigned supreme, this show captured imaginations with its blend of science fiction and fantasy. Each episode held secrets waiting to be discovered, pulling audiences deeper into a realm of wonder and mystery. Following a diverse group of travelers stranded on a mysterious island within the Bermuda Triangle, they were led by a charismatic figure. Together, they ventured forth, seeking a way back home amidst perilous encounters and enigmatic challenges. What made this journey unique was its ability to transport viewers to far-off lands and challenge their understanding of what's real. Amidst strange civilizations and moral quandaries, the characters confronted their deepest fears. The show's impact continues to endure, reminding us of the power of imagination and the thrill of epic storytelling. Even today, it inspires new generations to embrace adventure and discovery, proving that some stories never truly fade away. In the fantastic journey, Nicholas Hammond, known for his role as Spider-Man and his appearance in The Sound of Music, played a character who famously bailed on Marsha Brady in The Brady Bunch. Joan Collins, author of Second Act, won a legal battle against her publisher, Random House, over a demanded refund of her advance due to alleged substandard submissions. The show's short life was due to a preempted episode, a time slot change, and low ratings. Liana's absence in the final episodes, likely due to illness, added to its challenges. Connections between actors and their roles often surprise us. For instance, in two different Batman series, Roddy McDowell played villains. This is rare among his co-stars. In one show, McDowell's character calls another by a nickname, Scotty. Later, the actor who played Scotty appeared in a Star Trek movie as a different character related to his earlier role. It's interesting to see how these links connect different parts of McDowell's career. Roddy McDowell, a talented dancer, clinched victories in both the Charleston and Cha-Cha contests on the Arthur Murray party. During the filming of The Pied Piper in 1941, he forged a lasting friendship with Peggy Ann Garner, which endured throughout their lives. While in Italy for Cleopatra's filming, he grew exasperated with delays and secured a small role in The Longest Day to stay productive. This move was emulated by Richard Burton, who also sought a cameo role to stay engaged during the filming hiatus. Despite its low rating and cancellation in the US, the serial found success internationally. Networks in Australia, Denmark, France, Germany, Great Britain, Hong Kong, Italy, Japan, Netherlands, New Zealand, Norway, South Africa, and Sweden acquired broadcasting rights. Marge Doucet, a founding member of the late 1960s ill, the comedy improv troupe, The Session, was among the cast. Joan Collins replaced Marilyn Monroe in The Girl in the Red Velvet Swing, as Marilyn was considered too old at age 30 when the character was meant to be 17. Delving into the world behind a classic TV show offers a fascinating glimpse into the lives of its stars and creators. In the case of a particular TV series, discussions about the camaraderie between its lead actors have remained largely untold. However, later conversations shed light on their relationship, revealing mutual respect and admiration for each other's work. One interesting find is an unreleased episode script titled Romulus, which has surfaced online, offering fans a peek into what might have been. The script provides insight into the creative process and the narrative paths the show could have taken. Alongside this, the involvement of key figures like Mel Ferrer in co-founding a renowned theater company has had a lasting impact on the cultural landscape. Their dedication to nurturing artistic talent has influenced generations of actors and enriched the world of theater. Exploring these interconnected stories offers a deeper understanding of the collaborative nature of entertainment production. 
Each individual, whether an actor, a writer, or a co-founder, contributes to the rich tapestry of the industry. In 1978, a listener wrote into Casey Kasem's American Top 40 radio show requesting a long-distance dedication to Cheryl Ladd, asking her to his high school prom. She personally telephoned the boy with her regrets, and he thought it was his friends playing a prank. The song in question, Cheryl's Think It Over, peaked at 36. For decades, fans have speculated whatever became of Katie Saylor, as she quit the series before its cancellation, then was nowhere to be found in online searches. She seemed to have dropped off the face of the earth, and people began to wonder if she was, in fact, dead. As of 2019, Katie is very much alive. After a bout of severe illness, she took some personal time off, then decided never to return to acting. She later married and changed her last name. As such, she happily sank into anonymity where she has preferred to remain well away from Hollywood. During the 1959 Miss America contest, Marianne Mobley sang, for the talent portion, a highly formal, operatic rendition of Puccini's Unbeldi that segued into a belt version of There'll Be Some Changes Made as she stripped down into something skimpier. She won the crown. In the fantastic journey, Roddy McDowell's character, Dr. Jonathan Willoway, wasn't part of the pilot. He joined the series later, much like Jonathan Harris' character in Lost in Space. Both Willoway and Harris' character were intended as annoying foils for the heroes. McDowell's first name, Jonathan, might be a nod to Harris. Interestingly, after working together, McDowell sent Christmas cards to his co-star Ike Eisenman every year until McDowell's passing in 1997. Another notable cast member, Joan Collins, was nicknamed the British Open due to her liberal lifestyle. Roddy McDowell, known for his roles in Batman and Batman the Animated Series, also lent his voice to the book on tape version of the novelization of the first Batman. Moving on, Nicholas Hammond's girlfriend, Robin Nevin, serves as the artistic director of the Sydney Theatre Company. Jared Martin, in an intriguing turn, mentioned owning a futuristic fork for years, later stolen from his storage unit in the late 80s or early 90s. However, conflicting accounts surfaced when an interviewer spoke to someone close to Martin suggesting a potential fear of coercion related to the prop's possession. With Martin's passing, the mystery of the coveted prop's current owner remains unsolved. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes add layers to the lives of the actors from the fantastic journey, showcasing their diverse interests and unique experiences. After the fantastic journey got canceled, some of its team started working on Logan's Run, a similar show. Roddy McDowell, a well-known actor, played a big part in the fantastic journey. In 1998, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences honored him by naming its photo archive after him because of his really good photography. Even though he did great in Cleopatra, a mistake by 20th Century Fox caused him to miss a possible Academy Award nomination. The studio labeled him as a leading player instead of a supporting one, so he didn't get nominated. In the series, Nicholas Hammond, known for his role as the first live-action Spider-Man, took part. Additionally, Joan Collins, who was considered for Alexis Carrington on Dynasty, was involved. Roddy McDowell, who almost had guest roles in Star Trek, was also part of the cast. He was considered for various roles, including Trelane in The Squire of Gothos and Constable Odo on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Released in 2020, the complete series set of The Fantastic Journey is available on DVD. Marianne Mobley, known for her singing on variety shows, later took on musical roles in productions like Brigadoon and Guys and Dolls. Roddy McDowell, who starred in both Planet of the Apes and The Fantastic Journey, was a prominent figure in 1970s science fiction television. In the world of television, The Fantastic Journey brought together a mix of actors, including Scott Brady. He showed off his skills on stage, making his Broadway debut in 1959's Destroy Rides Again alongside Andy Griffith, and Dolores Gray. The show even borrowed some cool sound effects from Star Trek to give it a familiar vibe. Julie Cobb, daughter of Lee J. Cobb, shared the screen with her future father-in-law, Harry Morgan, in How the West Was Won, and also appeared with her dad in an episode of Gunsmoke. These things added depth to the series, making it interesting for viewers with its unique mix of talent and effects. In the early 1970s, a famous actor named Scott Brady was offered a big role in a popular TV show, but turned it down. The role eventually went to another actor named Carol O'Connor. Another actor, John Saxon, acted in movies about the historical figure Genghis Khan. He played roles in two films about him. Roddy McDowell, who you might recognize from Hollywood movies, once appeared on the Carol Burnett show wearing special makeup from a movie he was in called Planet of the Apes. Carol Burnett's surprise reaction added a funny moment to the show. 
These actors all had interesting experiences in the entertainment industry. Their connections to famous characters and memorable moments helped shape their careers.